Ahoy friends, I'm Dan, and welcome back to Building the Alpha Dory, a project to recreate or replicate a 1890s racing dory of the type used at Marblehead and built by uh, William Chamberlain. Today we're going to finish shaping the transom knee and we're going to get out some of the uh, frames and the feet of the frames and start uh, measuring those for the uh, bottom of the dory. Alright, thanks for stopping by and let's get out into the shop. Alright, so here's uh, what's left of the transom knee once we've uh, cut off all the excess uh, wood from the log. And you can see we cut out a lot of sap wood when we uh, sided this down to size. So that's you know, one of the great benefits of having you know, heavier timbers than what you need. Uh, you don't need perfect wood, you know, if you've got some uh, a little bit of thinking ahead of time and you can cut out bad spots or whatever and uh, you know, end up with an excellent piece of wood. The other uh, thing to keep in mind when um, especially making knees and whatnot, um, when I oriented the pattern on the uh, log to cut this out, you can see the direction that the grain ended up in. The grain is running like this through the knee. So that means that I've got a full run of grain from here all the way to here on this knee, which is going to make it strong. Now, the only stronger way to make a knee would be with a grown crook, so that the, so that the uh, grain of the wood actually follows the shape of the knee. But, you know, when you orient it like this, this is 99% as strong as that grown crook. And, uh, you know, it's a lot less uh, specialized as far as, you know, picking out your bits and pieces of wood. It's not often that you can get a curve of wood, just the perfect shape for the knee. So, you know, whenever you're doing something like that, a lot of people, uh, you know, some people will just... And throw the pattern on there, they figure, oh, I'll use this straight edge and then you know, I'll cut the rest out, but you end up with grain going across to your knee. So what you want to do is, you know, put the pattern on a diagonal to the wood you're using and, uh, and you know, try and follow the grain with the pattern, basically, and you'll get a stronger knee out of it. Anyway, so that's, uh, Just the thinking when laying out the pattern pieces and whatnot. And you'll notice we didn't actually do that when we were laying out the patterns for the uh, frames, which is uh, it's just sort of a dory shop thing. You lay the frames out uh, with the long part of the frame with the grain of the wood, and then that uh, curvature that goes up the side just ends up being cross grain. But Apparently it's plenty strong because that's how they've been doing it for 100 plus years, so. Alright, so. Let's clean up this knee. And then we'll be ready to uh, get out the wood for the uh, frames, which we already cut. And, uh. It is going to be a little bit of a uh, experiment to see if we've got enough straight wood to make the feet of the frames. I think we've got enough from what we cut out in the leftovers in that one board that we cut the uh, frames out of, but you know, we've got to put it out on the boat and make sure.
So I'll snag this little bench plan and just use this to showing cutting oak like this just peeking out there it is. and of course I'm going uh, with the grain so that's uh, Maybe you could consider one of the other benefits to orienting a knee in this direction. Cutting it out because then you know you're, when you're planning in this direction, you're uh, going down with the slope of the grain, so you're not going to have any issues with your blade digging in, <clears throat> going against the grain. And the same on the other side, just flip it around and go in the other direction, and you'll be going with the grain again. High spot there that the blade may have missed. See if we can't trim this on edge and clean up the sides.
Jones. could do is uh, use a scraper or hand sand the uh, this convex uh, concave curvature because the uh, hand plane regular bench plane won't get in there I don't own a uh, compass plane so it was a kind of a pricey um, specialty item that you know, a lot of dory shops wouldn't have had anyway. So, uh, but yeah. But I think since we're kind of in the modern age and we're looking to mass produce these things, just bang them out as quick as we can. We'll go with the uh, belt sander. Just clean up the uh, saw marks and then uh, throw a little chamfer on either edge of this uh, knee.